All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to the University of Maryland and the, uh, the Rec Wells Esports program. Tonight, uh, it's the University of Maryland's Terps Rocket League Academy team. Uh, this is, uh, the, well, they're brand new here in Studio C. They're set up, they're ready to go. They are playing Ju Juniata College uh, out of Pennsylvania. Um, right now, uh, UMD is sitting on uh, a record of four wins and three losses. Right now, we are looking at an NECC semifinals. This is important. It's uh, uh, an elimination game for the tournament. Um, either the guys take it and move on, or they they don't take it and they go on home. I'm your host, Chris, aka Point Ferret on Twitch. I'm here with the mighty Arnov, or Arnov Levin. Yep. How are you Hi. doing? I'm doing good. I'm excited for the semifinals. All right. So uh, let's uh, see how we're doing and hopefully get things underway. We are live and ready to go here in the chat. We've got a few people, few people online. Good to see you. Um, say hi. Tell us how you're doing. Uh, you know what's on your mind. What's up? And uh, you know, honestly, just good to see the the academy team in here for the very first time. Yeah, and it's for a really high stakes game already, so it's yeah. really exciting. Yeah, and I think. believe I did um, but right now you uh, Maryland is uh, at four wins and three losses no ties have been mentioned so they're over the 50 50 mark which uh, is definitely hopeful uh, definitely good um, uh, when the guys were setting up tonight uh, they they came in expertly they were polite they were cool they were funny uh, they dug in they they just hooked up their 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 USB controllers uh, to the ports and got scrimmaging uh, immediately in a ranked scrimmage uh, no fussing about they got right down to it they know what they're here for they're here for and uh, you know just uh, having fun with it um, and the game is about to kick off all right folks I'm I'm excited to see this it's my first time casting Rocket League uh, Arnav you know the game better than I do yeah. so you go for technical yeah. I'll go for color got it and we're off already and uh... Uh, I think we're not able to see player names right now, but... Uh, what are we looking at? Yeah. Yeah. The magic of car soccer! <laughs> yeah, so it seems to be a midfield battle right now. Teams just starting to get used to each other. Yeah, they are fighting over the midground. We have uh, the Terps on the left, uh, Juniata on the right. Let's see. And, I believe it's and uh, Terps are uh, def uh, defending the blue goal, whereas Juniata is defending uh, the, the gold goal, or the orange or yellow. That's one of those colors that could be every color. Yeah, it's I amazing. I think it's good that the other one is blue. You can clearly see the difference, otherwise it yeah. could get confusing. All right. Here we go. Juniata seemed to be on a good attack. Oh, that's a great save. Yeah, absolutely. From Sadi, I believe. Uh, Juniata is struggling it. They try to get the pass. They don't. Uh, they are now in the midfield. And going up against uh, the Terps here. Uh, the Terps are working on their shots. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Great save uh, by Juniata. And the Terps are trying to keep it... Uh, well, just trying to keep it on the right side of the, of the of the pitch. Yeah, there's a couple good shots from UMD yep. going back and forth, sort of. I mean, but keeping the pressure on regardless. Yeah. Uh, Juniata have been making a couple good saves. They're back on the attack now. Trying Chaser to make. struggling. Uh, the Terps are having none of it, and they are trying to drive the ball out of out of the their side of the goal. I'm back on the attack yep. now. Sir McDouble uh, is grabbing boosts where he can, which is obviously the smart thing to do. And let's see, unknown yeah, the ball in there is trying to juggle it. Uh, Terps take possession, and the, oh, the just a bit wide on the angle, but good setup there uh, by UMD. Yeah, that was good play before that goal. Just the shot was a bit lacking, yeah. but oh, another good shot from Ren. Oh, Matt Blade makes another save. I think that was his third oh, beautiful. save. Probably. Absolutely beautiful goalkeeping there. Um, he's kind of sticking to his spot, but he's versatile. He's bouncing around where he needs to be. 
Yeah, there seems to be more attack from Juniata now. They're yeah. back into the game. It's yeah. going pretty 50-50 right now. And Terps trying to make an attack again. Yeah. Sadi comes in but well defended by Chaser. Alright, Sir McDouble. Alright, Matt Blade is trying to juggle it in. And uh, Juniata is trying to get it out as quickly as they can. Alright. Chaser is trying to juggle it over to Terps territory. And uh, the Terps are having none of that and just trying to get it out. Yeah, both teams playing uh, pretty confidently. There seems to be good defense, at least from both sides. I think maybe the shooting is slightly not there, but it's, I think, more down to the good defending from both teams. What's impressing me about the, the Terps, I, I've never seen the academic team play. Um, they're really doing a good job on uh, switching goal goalkeeping duties. Uh, Granted, there's always the temptation to get uh, get the, the oh. three. Oh, beautiful, beautiful shot, just a little off. Um, they're swapping the goalie out very well here. Uh, they're always rotating someone back. Yeah, yeah and uh, yeah, there seems to be good shape for the team right now. There's just yeah. no holes in their defense. Exactly. Um, I. I honestly think they're they're willing to play the long game here, you know, uh, and uh, as uh, Juniata tries a shot and it's a bit high, the Terps are managing it and keeping it out. Oh, That's breathtakingly close! Save. Oh my god! Another save by Sir McDouble this time. Yeah, like you said, this yeah, just Matt epic save. Yeah, tries the long okay. shot. Ooh, almost gets it in. And this will go to overtime if, if the time runs out, and that's just sudden death goal right then and there. Um, it looks like the Terps are willing to play the long game. You know, some people get a little frustrated, and it's like, oh, I want three goals a minute. Um, I think the Terps just want to wear them down and figure their opponent out right now. Yeah, I think the nil nil scoreline isn't a great representative of the math so far. Yeah. Yeah, and... Uh, Seems to be maybe getting hectic a bit, but it yeah. looks like we're going into overtime. Here we yeah. go. Oh, Enjoy it's still overtime. in the air. Yep. Unknown route. Uh, takes a random shot, and Terps were there, and we are now in overtime on the first match. All right. Folks, thank you for coming out. Thank you for watching the stream on a Friday night. Uh, Elfong TV, yeah! All right. Raw. All right, fair enough. Um... <laughs> Yeah, and that, 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 that kind of sounds like your overexcited uncle at Thanksgiving dinner, uh, just really psyched about football. Um, yeah. yeah, and that is a lot of turtle emoji. And thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. UMD putting on some pressure now in yeah. early overtime. Looks like yep. they're it's, all on the attack right uh, now. Everyone's jumping in on it. Yeah. Um, yeah, Juniata has to be feeling some pressure. Uh, the the Terps just want to keep the ball uh, down at that half and just uh, just keep the pressure on no matter what. Yeah, there's uh, both teams. I think maybe playing a little more passive right now just to not leak that one goal yeah. and lose the game. But exactly, it seems like a pretty back and forth right um, now. Overtime will go as long as overtime needs to go. Yeah, and this one team scores. So that's. My theory about overtime is sort of like that scene in Die Hard where the, the terrorist comes down and in front of the hostages begins smashing the drink cart and Bonnie Bedelia just says he's still alive. What? Only John can drive someone that crazy. And that's what you have to do in this. You, or just any eSport. You have to drive them thoroughly out of their courts. Yeah, it's a battle of attrition right now, especially this game. There's just no goals right now. Great yeah. defense by both teams and... Yeah, it will probably take a mistake, like you said. Yeah. Um, neither team is... Uh, they, they both have their defense down. That's the thing. Um, they're, they're not really swooping everything into, the, into an offensive pattern. Uh, they're just trying to keep, keep things under control. So we, we may be seeing quite a few overtimes in this, in this match. But that was close. And, yeah, but the, the control these people have is pretty pretty incredible to watch there's some, some good techniques going on here yeah i think we we'll need something special out of one of these players so break this deadlock it seems to be pretty yeah. solid in all parts of the game right now yeah how, how long have you been playing Arnav? 
I have been playing uh, on and off since the game basically came out <laughs> initially, but yeah. Okay. I'm not not nearly as good as any of these people. Uh, I, I I could never claim to be anywhere. Oh, anywhere. oh it's another right great off, save. Oh, right off the rim. Save by unknown And life is not fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that uh, almost certainly looked like a goal, but yeah, it's yeah. Uh, another great example of yeah. perfect defending right there. Uh, more pr pressure on the turf side. Uh, Matt Blade is trying to juggle it and uh, get it where it needs to be. Chaser with a long shot and yeah. oh, it's almost saved by his own teammate. I think that was yeah. going towards goal, but I UMD think UMD is not leaving their goal unattended for more than a few seconds, which is impressive. There's this could be oh, a goal. Th oh, that could be. Oh, oh, there you go. That's an unlucky one. I think uh, it came off the post. That, and that, that could that could have gone in any direction. Yeah. All right, UMD is one down one, but yeah, we the are ball off to a good start. Yep. and the guys are fighting hard. Yeah, that There's was good no, to watch. No it's point for, for debate on that one. So, thank you guys for, for coming out and watching on a Friday night. Um, and I believe we're hopping right into the next game, folks. Yep. Yeah, so we're hopping right into round two of this semi-final. Yep. And, uh, I mean, I know it was only 1-0, but I think it was still a pretty entertaining game. So, I hope... Yeah. Um, all the other maps go like that, but hopefully in favor of the Turks this time. I'm noticing that that neither team is trying for destruction of the other team. Uh, you know, they're they're not trying to demolish the other team. Yeah, or or go for demos. They're they're really just hanging back. They're trying to get into the best position they can. Um, they're very they're playing a very uh, technical form of uh, uh, essentially car soccer, in the sense that no one's trying to be the out outstanding star. You know they're swooping into position. They're going where they need to be. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I think there's pretty set roles for both teams. It looked like, and uh, they have a good structure about them. So yeah, yeah, maybe both of them don't have a particularly aggressive player going for demos. But yeah, at least it definitely looks like uh, they're both pretty well balanced right now. TNS Sensei is saying he, uh, well, they believe in all caps. We believe too. Yeah. Um. And it sounds like I think we're getting back into the second yeah, game we're right hopping now. Hopping down. Um, one of the core skills that esports will teach you is just, uh, y you know, you may be down one to zero. Never, ever, ever give up. Uh, that that's always a precursor to everything. And uh, the U Maryland esports uh, player, the the teams have been having a really good year, a really good semester. Um, Valorant took home a, a championship uh, Tuesday night. Uh, amazing to watch. Uh, couldn't couldn't have asked for a better stream. Just they played their hearts out, um, and they did great. Uh, but honestly, they were down a bit. Um, they they thought they had everything sewn up in three out of five rounds, and they thought they had the third round sewn up. And uh, UMass Boston just came back. They would not give up, and you know it turned into you know two to one, and you know suddenly the the sure the sure victory was really really uh not not absolutely in question but just like okay this isn't as guaranteed as we thought it might be um but the guys came back and oh that's a great and goal sir from. mcdouble gets on the board awesome uh, just awesome opportunity he takes it he's in the right place at the right time yeah that's a good cross from mad blade and yeah it's a perfectly yeah. empty goal for mad blade, blade to score uh, just came in, swooped on in, absolutely wonderful play there. Knew where to be, and just terrific to watch. Um, uh, the Mighty Vanilla is saying hi, Lady V. Uh, good to see you, hope everything's good. All right, yes, uh, from Elfong TV, thank you. Yeah, and it's a very different start this time. Yeah. A goal right into it, and it was, uh, Pretty uncharacteristic defending from Juniata based on that last game, but it's 1-0 for the Terps now. Do you feel they're using a different defense, a defensive style in this round, or what do you think? Yeah, I'm not too sure what happened right there because it was a completely open net, and I wonder if after that first goal it might shake them up a little bit. Maybe they try to change something yeah. else and it could backfire or work out but I guess yeah. we'll have to see how Matt Blade is trying to juggle it where it needs to be and put it in place uh, 
Sudsy 25 TTV Sudsy 25 is doing what he can. And Maplade is once again trying to juggle it. Yeah, UMD just not letting Juniata come into their own half, just keeping this yeah. pressure on after that first advantage. Oh, there it is! Oh, oh that's almost again. The the only thing that saved you was the goal not being slightly wider. Yeah, of the past and of post and the crossbar. That's yeah. just unlucky. Not much you can do there, but this is good from UMD. I mean, this is this is classic soccer soccer technique. There's the first demo of the game apparently. Yeah. Um, it's a good save from Ren again. Yeah. They, they know what they're doing. And, uh, no one is this. trying to juggle it, and UMD is saying no. We want this out of our out of our half. The interesting thing is, um, UMD isn't just content to try to get it. There's another demo. Get it out of their half, uh, which a lot of teams tend to do. Where where you think like, oh, it's out of my half. It's out of my hands. You know, uh, they. They want it in a certain place, and they're not just content to boot it down the field and hope for the best. Yeah, it's uh, so. Oh, that's a. Uh, uh, and there we go. Sudsy. TTV Sudsy 25 gets on the board. Yeah, I think he came all the way back from defense, and yeah, just had a sort of free shot there. I think Anon tried to save it, but uh, it yeah. was an awkward angle for him, and yeah. it just bounced just over his head, I believe. And that's a great lead for UMD this time. All right, they've got a 2-0 lead. Uh, just hoping they don't sit on their laurels and think now now that we have a, a cushion, you know, we can do anything we need. Oh, Case in point, it's yeah. anyone's game. Chaser follows up. He's in the right place at the right time. And uh, two yeah. goal leaders often yeah, call. Sir McDouble dangerous. tries to tries to block it. Just unfortunately, a little too deep in the goal there. Yeah, and a minute and a half to play now yeah. with UMD le leading yeah. by one. Bro left him hanging a little bit, um, uh, to a certain degree, but it, uh, you know, you, you, your 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 car winds up in the goal, then you got to get it out where it needs to be. Yeah, so, that was just an awkward one to defend. I think. Yeah. Well, that's half the challenge. These are this is soccer played with cars, not human beings. Uh -huh. All right, UMD still sitting on a two-one lead. And oh, oh beautiful block by Matt Blade knows exactly where to be. Yeah, that's an unreal save there. Yeah. And I think you only now would want to keep the ball in the Juniata half. I think Juniata have been yeah. pressuring for the last couple minutes and Oh that's There a we go, game. and Matt Blade answers. Matt beautiful Blade. score. Amazing purple shirt. <laughs> um What I feel like I'm seeing uh out of both teams is a certain lack of ego, I think. You know they want to. They, there, there isn't. No one's especially hanging around the other person's goal and saying, you know, get it, get it to me, and I'll be your star. Yeah, and uh, oh, that's a and pretty there we awkward go. goal and for Chaser, yeah, but I'll Chaser, take that. Chaser knows where to be, and yeah, uh, UMD's caught a little off guard. Matt Blade tries to block it. I think the guy's got a little in. Yeah, McDouble and Matt Blade were sort of. Get tripping over their feet a little bit, trying yeah, to block. They waited for each other, maybe, and the bounce was yeah. a little weird and right in front of goal. And yeah, neither. Uh, it's a good oh, shot from Ren. Beautiful, beautiful block by Sudsy. Yeah. And it's 30 seconds for UMB to keep this lead, and yeah. they might try to just defend now. But oh, yeah. it's uh, right off the crossbar again. And another demo. All right, this round is being a little more destructive. Yeah, more demos <laughs> coming in. I think they might have heard you. Yeah. AKA take take one of their players. How long does the demo take take the player out for? Uh, it's only a couple seconds, but I think the main thing is just gets them out of position for e that. Exactly, it's like a power play in hockey. Yeah, and the ball should touch the ground. And there it's we go. And, and Terps take the second to tie it up one to one. Yep, and right back into it. It's a pretty yeah. great comeback from them. I think that yeah. uh, overtime goal could normally make the team a bit down, but it clearly shows that the UMD team was ready to come back. And the, our gentleman in the, in, the, in the gray shirt is sort of looking like uh, like Ma uh, Anthony Michael Hall on Dexter. Uh, where it's kind of like, all right, the Dexter shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and um, actually, the uh, the the spinoff series the uh, that came out last year was actually really good. Um, I, I hope they follow through on it and you know do do that. 
But we're not here to talk about Dexter. We are here to talk about Rocket League. Um, we're not sure exactly uh, who the, the Terps are going to play uh, if, if they win this game. Obviously, a lot. Yeah. Um, interesting fact. Uh, taking a look at this, each of the guys uh, scored a single goal uh, for the past game. You know, no one... No one's rushing out to be the star, the lead scorer. They're just they're getting the ball where it needs to be. Yeah, it looks like the roles are pretty yeah. well divided between the team. I think the last yeah. match we saw everyone making pretty important saves and this time yeah. everyone getting in the goals. I think the Juniata team had just one player scoring two goals, so they yeah. might have a more set goal scorer for that team. But I think it sounds like we are getting into game three with Here we go. the scores tied at 1-1. Also, quick thing to announce, um, let's see, uh, if you are interested in being part of the Requels eSports program for the coming semesters, uh, follow up on our social media, our socials, uh, that's where we announce everything as far as auditions and tryouts. Uh, you know, if you want to play as a team, if you either, uh, if you want to try out for the academic team or the premier team, you know, there's glory to be had. There we go. It's Beautiful save. Uh, just follow the socials. All the details are there. And if, if you feel your gaming skills are awesome, we would love to hear from you. Uh, yeah, and uh, UMD starting to good, put good pressure on this exactly. first yeah. minute. I think they're trying to keep the momentum going yeah. from that one. Sudsy is trying to keep it there. And Sir McDouble comes in. Yeah, this is I'm, good pressure. I'm wondering if his name just comes out of a love of fast food or something deeper. Yeah, it probably has to be that, but yeah. Oh, thank you, Elfong. Uh, this is actually my first time casting a, 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 as, as well as his. So, yeah. Yeah. So, um, thank you. <laughs> this is somewhat terrifying, but. Oh, yeah, I just cast it once right, before, so but... The, the, uh, this is my ab uh, my absolute first time. Yeah, I mean, it <laughs> might as well be mine. I think I cast it once before, so it's, I'm pretty new to this too, so yeah. that's, that's good to hear. I I run a, a, a silly uh, stream called The Mistakes Were Made Dino Cast, and that's just me screwing up the video games. Oh, and Ren an makes it one-to-one. -one. Very. Uh, yeah. it's in, that's an own goal, I believe. I don't know what yeah. exactly happened. I think Mad Blade just... Yeah. Uh, I think he's uh, expecting ah, his teammate oh, to hit play, that, but... Uh, 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 hey, trust me, I've done it plenty of times. Yeah, I think it's... Um, Doing great, keep it up. Thank you. I, I think I owe, like, I owe Elfong TV, like, a pony, or at least a starter pony. All right. Yeah, that's an unlucky own goal, but yeah, I think they'll be able to... Yeah, Juniata has a 1-0 lead. Uh, let's see if the Terps can make it up. Yeah, there's still three minutes on the clock, plenty yeah. of time to bring this back. Plenty and of time there, uh, a little wide. Yeah, Matt Blade still on the attack, trying yep. to make up for that goal. Yeah, there. just trying to ed edge his uh, opponent out. And Terps get back into Juniata territory. Centered by Sergi, but no one there yet. I think yeah. it's staying in the midfield right now. It's a shot from Ren, but saved by Matt Blade. Yep. This is good pressure from Juniata now, but... Excellent. They, they had two guys hanging back. Uh, the furthest that they seem to be getting out is the midfield, um, which is an extremely clever way to play it. All right. And, yeah, they might uh, be trying to save this lead, perhaps. They saw the first game. They know they can defend well, so... That's missed by everyone, but <laughs> it's Matt missed Blade by everyone. Uh, yeah. Matt Blade is the one to get it. Tries to short, but yeah. it's centered, but cleared by Chaser again. Yeah. This is good uh, hold up from Juniata right now. Yep. And Matt Blade has a short, oh, but Ren has another great save. Ren I feel like I'm it, yeah. seeing Ren make all these good saves for the team. We got. All right. Maryland is feeling the heat. They're trying to get it uh, out of their zone. And McDouble is there to at least get it, get it where it needs to be. Yeah, that was uh, good from McDouble to get the ball clearly out of the goal. Tries to center. Oh, it's a shot from and, Sertzi. And it, and it just, uh, it's just off the rim. Oh. Yeah. That's don't know if uh, Unknown Root just got like a bit of a touch on that, but... Uh, yeah, it backs off the rim. It's, it's when you target the Death Star and try to use the computer targeting system. You need the force. Yeah. You need, I think... 
one of these players to have yeah, that will need something special like the force i believe with the <laughs> way jenny are trying to uh they're trying to sidewind it in all right it's a good uh, backboard save remaining. from remaining yep still anyone anyone's chance to tie it um oh that's a and we got demolition yeah. there and uh, they're keeping Sir it McDouble in the jungle. Uh, is trying to set it up. It's a mad blade on the defense right now, just trying to keep this attack yep. started again. But uh, juggle it where he, where he wants it to be. Ren comes off defense to get a bit of an attack started, but mad blade is still there. Yep. No. What we got all right. Yeah, this might fall to Juniata. Yeah, it's uh, probably the last attack UMD has right here. Yeah. We need to try to keep this. Well, that's good to start from Mad Blade to keep the ball there, but... It's three seconds left on the clock. This just might hit the ground now, yeah. They, yeah, this is the last juggle on the ball. Oof. All right, two to one, Juniata. Uh, they're keeping the pressure on. Yeah, and that was just, I feel like, if you see... It was just a bit bad luck. Yeah, and it's another close game, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, oh the boy. own goal was unfortunate, I feel <laughs> like. I mean, I don't know who got the actual start for that. I'll, I'm sure he'll be happy, but yeah, it's unlucky from the ma from Mad Blade's perspective. But uh, it was still a pretty, very close game, just yeah. like the previous two. I mean, so otherwise, uh, they, they just kept the, the pressure on. They kept... Oh, okay. Uh, the the Terps just said they they have to get it to keep it to game seven to offer the uh, drama that you guys, the viewers, deserve. I believe it. Yeah, to get a nice long stream <laughs> for you guys and yeah, lots of games to watch too. Yeah, I, the, honestly, it it could have happened to anyone. I uh, I think Matt Blade. I'm I'm hoping he can shake it off. Um, yeah. And these guys look pretty relaxed. You know, they're they're they didn't come in with a lot of tension on their shoulders. Um, you know, they're, they're like, they, they sat down, they got to work and, you know, I, I think they'll just work on it and, the, and they'll, they'll get their strategy in line. Yeah. I think that's yeah, not, the... it, it was just a little bit of bad luck. Yeah. And anything can happen. Like, look, there are interceptions all the time in football. There's fumbles. There's, there's everything that, that can go wrong or. Yeah. Know. And a chance here for Matt Blade to come back from that as we get into game four. I mean, let's look at it this way. No one's March Madness bracket is intact. There's bad luck. There's there's anything that can happen. Ren gets a lucky save there. And yeah, it's good early. Yeah. Uh, goal from short from UMD trying to keep this yeah. going. Uh, and they uh, are plowing it back into Juniata territory. Yeah, and uh, it's uh, maybe both the teams trying to feel out how the other team is going to get into this game for. Yeah. It's uh, all in the UMD half right now. Yeah. It uh, should be a clearance coming yeah. in. Sudsy is nested. It, uh, that's interesting. The fact that uh, essentially they they're keeping a nested goalie in there. Um, you know, that's saying we're 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 not messing around. Um, oh, that's a great save from Sir McDouble. Yep. I think it just flicks off. Uh, Go McDouble. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ren uh, boots back, and the guys. Uh, oh, oof, that Chaser, uh, Chaser's been good at that. He he gets the pick right there. Yeah, the, I think yeah, you're right. Whenever it's uh, bouncing yeah. off the backboard, I think yeah. he's got a couple goals like that. But yeah. yeah, just at the right place at the right time. That's exactly. Uh, good positioning from Chaser. It's it. Um, but yeah, you only down one, but there's still plenty of time. Four minutes left in the game. And after that first low sort of game, I think they're just back into the goals, both teams. Yeah. UMD trying to get their attack started for now. Just, uh, again, good defending from Ren gets it clear. Yeah. Chaser on the attack now, trying to center it for his team, but there's no one there to get tap that in this time. All right. And Let's see, McDouble is working on booting it out, gets it into Juniata territory. Matt and Matt Blade just wants to 
he is juggling like nobody's business oh that son that would have been a great goal of that pentan but yeah that's still a great hold up from my blade juggle that well that's impressive yeah uh, i think yeah my blade uh, seems like the person responsible for the defending and he's yeah. been doing a good job this game i think yeah. that has been a couple two on one situations that he has defended really well right now yeah Ren is trying to get it into UMD territory and uh oh, gets the gets the second goal there. Yeah, that's just I guess Ouch. that was just all Ren. He yeah. gets it off Sad Z off the side yeah. wall and Yeah, it's a good goal from him. I believe the boys can bring it back. Let's uh see how you and how you Maryland responds to that. Yeah, there's still half the time left, so there's yeah. anything that can happen still. And uh, yeah, they just need to bounce back here and so what we got, what we got there. there? Oh, <laughs> Matt Blade gets the a beautiful pick on that, and he is rolling his custom car in celebration. Yeah, All right. Uh, I think it bounced off Ren slightly, made the ball speed up there, but uh, yeah. we take those. That's a good goal to have, and yeah, we got it early. I think that was like yeah. 10 seconds between the goals, yeah, 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 so yeah. We're right back in it. So, oh, oh, and just hits the crossbar. Let's see, Matt Blade is trying to get it deeper into the territory, if not around the goal. Uh, Sudsy, TTV Sudsy is seeing what he can do with it. Mm -hmm. No one's quite in place, and Matt Blade is seen and off the top again. Yeah, this is exactly the type of pressure you yeah. need to keep putting on the Juniata team. Yeah, and they they know to get a goalie back uh, back. Just this is one of those rare occasions where uh, they're putting all three up, and then they uh, quickly get a goalie back as quick as soon as humanly possible. Yeah, uh, they, I think they do not want to muck around with the team, and they know it. Yeah, it looks like Mad Blade is that guy for our team, and I think Ren is doing the same for Juniata. It's yeah, I think that's one of the reasons it's not going too high scoring. I feel like both the teams are. It's like genuine soccer. Yeah, it's. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is just playing maybe too similar, but yeah, yeah. I think the goals are starting to flow now with a minute and a half left for UMD to Yeah, and Matt Blade uh, intercepts and picks it, and they are trying to get get it down the field and tie it up and drive the other guy, drive Jumiata somewhat nuts. Yeah, this is, uh, I tried explaining this game to my dad, and he, he, he looked like his eyeballs were going to explode. It's like, it's car soccer, what? Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's simple to explain, but when you start watching it, it's just too much happening sometimes. So exactly. It can get confusing. What we got? All right. Sudsy and McDouble is trying to, and they're trying to get the pick. Yeah, it's a slow shot from Adblade, but Ren again makes a good save yeah, from Sudsy it. Sudsy is trying to juggle it. It's. Uh, 30 seconds left, Junior on the attack. This yeah. could get cleared by Sir McDouble, but Chaser keeps it in for more pressure. Ren coming in, but. Yeah, Ren, a little too high to make it happen. It's a good save from Mad Blade again, yeah. making sure to keep stay in that goal. Alright, unknown route is trying to juggle. Ren is seeing if he can control it. Mad right, Blade 15 also. seconds left. This is probably the last attempt for UMD going towards Ren, but yeah. it gets a clear once more. Three, two. Oh! Oh, that's. All right. Juniata takes uh, takes that. Um, close, close, close game. Yeah. No one, close. no one's getting blown out here. Uh, this is just. Um, I think it's it's a matter of lucky picks and just being in the right place, right time. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I mean it's uh, a best of seven, so there's still chance for Yamri yeah. to make that three-one comeback. It, we could see a reverse sweep here. Uh, yeah. uh, trust me, we're 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 rooting for the guys. We're we're hoping they can pull it out. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with uh, basketball, but I believe there was like a three-one comeback a few years ago. I think. Yeah. Like the Cavaliers or something. So. Oh, trust me, there there's. To, yeah, there's there's comebacks all the time. Yeah, there's I, I, I grew up watching the Celtics okay. and and the Red Sox lose at the end of their games, <laughs> like just like clockwork. It's, it, 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 hey, how quickly can we surrender a nine-run lead? Oh, let's find out. Um, 
yeah yeah there's yeah there's it, plenty of potential for come back here i think the both the all four games have been very close i know the actual match line is saying 3-1 but each game has been really close so if if you grew up watching new england teams you you knew what it was like to uh, see a, a, a largely dissipate at the end <laughs> and sounds like we're into game to the next game and it's yeah umd on the attack all right of the bat mad blade with a shot there but so oh, the he's trying to get it through yeah, so much double there, just yeah. keeping the pressure on. Yeah. Chaser might have a breakaway here, but they don't have a perfect angle. They do have pressure. Yeah. And it, this is a big game now for UMD. This is a best of seven. So if UMD lose this, it's all over. So yeah. it's a must win. Yeah. Every game is a must win now. Yeah. There's no room for error. They know it. Uh, the doubles trying to juggle and. Uh, it's a there demo from Ren on Chaser and oh, that's get them a goal. Yeah, Chaser scores. Yeah, that's, uh, I think, it feels like a rare example of the demolition just working out perfectly yeah. there for yeah, exactly. Juniata. Ren takes him out and Chaser gets another goal. I feel like he's gotten almost all of Juniata's goals. So yeah. It's just a good performance from Juniata so far. 1-0 down for UMD with 4 minutes left. Yeah. Another demo. With the ball in the UMD half again, they'll try to get this out quickly to ease the pressure off a bit. Yeah, and Mad Blades tries to center it. Sajita is trying to score. Mad Gates is many things. He's he's not a Rocket League player. No, uh, yeah. Matt Blade is uh, doing an excellent combination of both offense and defense here. Yeah, and they are putting pressure there, and Matt Blade is trying to get it in. Yeah, it's a good pressure. Devil is him. trying to juggle it back. And Ren takes the shot. Matt Blade is trying to get in a goalkeeping position. He's there, but it goes off the, off to the side. And that play, great save. Ooh, Chaser yeah, scores Chaser again. Chaser scores again. I think oh, yeah. Ren got demolition demoed yeah. there, but uh, yeah. yeah, it's uh, another perfect positioning from exactly. Chaser there. He's just there yeah. at the perfect time again. I agree. It's just a uh, good goal scoring from him. Yes. And uh, Juniata up two right now. There's still three minutes left in the game. Yep. And uh, yeah, they're keeping this pressure on. I think you only need to probably get a goal here quick the last time they went down 2-0 there was a uh, quick goal and uh, that, uh, oof. yeah that's a rough deflection it just uh, oh, it's, nice. it's yeah that's deflects off of yeah. Meg, so Meg double and it's just lines up perfectly from Ren yep. and that's I think his second or third goal where he's come off defense and yeah. scored a long range it's just um, that's oh. a slightly unlucky goal to concede but Renal down, UMD trying to get back on the attack here. Yep. They can still pull it off. Alright, let's see what happens here. Alright, they are getting in. Ooh, that blade is going for it a bit high. Ren makes a good save, and Sutsi is struggling it back in. Yeah, I think we might see some sort of bus parked by Juniata here with 3 nil up, so I think UMD will have to just commit as much as possible to these attacks and yeah. try to get a quick goal back here. Like and that! that oh, Sudsy Sudsy makes it. a beautiful goal. He's right where he needs to be. Yeah, I think for, before this you were seeing Sudsy being sort of the defensive player sometimes yeah. but yeah, he was... Everyone committed there. All three Juniata players trying to defend that but that's just yeah. good from Sudsy there. That was excellent. And let's see. Matt Blade goes in. Trying to get off to the side. It's a demolition there, but Sudzi answers right back with the demolition of his own. The yep. goal is clear there, but oh, that's oh, rough. And Ren answers back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Matt Blade almost had that, I think, tracking back. He probably tried the best he could. I don't know if that yeah. was savable. Yeah, it just flies yeah. above his head. Oof. It's just a good, another great long shot from Ren there. Yeah. I mean, that was a pretty quick back and forth of goals. Uh, we'll be back. What? Oh, Let's that see. seemed like a break off for Mad Blade, but I Could think that's well defended by Ren. Yeah. 
I was actually a little surprised. Um, we we had uh, the installed copy uh, via Epic, um, but the the guys came in and downloaded the Steam version, and I don't know what the if there really is. Oh, oh that's a uh, hat trick for yeah, Ren. Ren yeah, Ren just knew where to be. Yeah, that's another. Yeah, this time Chaser making the goals and Ren scoring them the last two, and this might be out of reach. I don't know how. Ouch. Well, this can go, but I'm sure the Turks will keep trying. Yeah. This, might, this is just, I think this is I'll just full commit now, and uh, yeah, go all out attack, I think. Yeah. It doesn't really matter how many they concede now, it's just about scoring now. Yeah, yeah Map Blade is using the boosts, uh, but over, over shooting a little bit. Turks are not giving up. Yeah, this is a rough situation now because uh, at this point, Matt Blade is clear now. He should get this goal. Oh, no, they're combat. not going down okay. without a fight. Yeah, nice. It's the start of something. I think Juniata there. I think they're trying, starting to get comfortable instead of just defending. They're just going all yeah. out. And uh, I mean, hopefully they keep doing that for another couple goals. That would be good for. The Love Turks. to see him tie it up. Yeah. A minute 14 left to the game. It's in the UMD half now. Matt Blade is working on juggling it to where he wants it to be. And Chaser is not having it. And Chaser goes for the next goal. Yeah, Oof. I think uh, that's an unknown route. Yeah, just, uh, I mean, UMD had to commit everyone there. And yeah. yeah, that's just a byproduct of having to do that. The hand was forced. And both, both teams are ferociously committing to their opponent's uh, side of the field right now. Yeah. And it's 2-6 down now for UMD with a minute left. I mean, I feel like they can still get some goals here. Just yeah. Pull two. See what they can pull out of it. This is Chaser again with a slow shot, but yeah, this is again with four goals of Juniata just fully committing to try to get as many goals yeah. as they can. Yeah. Uh, Red is struggling it. Uh, Wendy shoots down the field and unknown route is trying for something. Uh, Matt Blade is trying to juggle it back. They're, they're going down fighting. They're not giving up. Yeah, and uh, Juniata yeah, making sure to defend still, but yeah, it seems to be over now. With Three, two, one, and that is the game, folks. Oof. And it's... Oh, that's just... Oh. Oof, double hat trick Oof. for Ren just and, to... Yeah, and Ren makes the most of the last possible possession. Oi. Yeah, just to rub <laughs> it in a bit, but yeah. Let's well, struggle it for 20 yeah. seconds, okay. <laughs> I feel uh, like we've seen that splash too, one too many times that game. I think gosh, uh, yeah. Ren gets four there. Yeah. And Juniata takes the series four to one. Oof. Yeah. The boys tried. They 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 played their hearts out. Yeah, it's uh, ends up the the boys run, but it was still a good run getting all the way to the semifinals. It's not too guys, nothing too shy about. But thank you guys for coming out. Thank you for watching. Thank thank you for chatting. Thanks for being being here with us. Um, All right, uh, we do have a message from uh, Union on Knox, and we're getting it from our uh, technical director, CJ. Yep, that's...
folks thanks for coming out thanks for watching thanks for thanks for talking in this in the chat i've been your host uh chris aka at point ferret yeah and um, i've been arno at arno 11 on instagram and yeah thank you all for watching keep an eye on our socials uh we've uh we'll, we'll see what's coming up for next week um and you know thanks for coming out thanks for being here thanks for being a fan and have a great night take care of each other take care of yourselves excelsior